question A. The table below shows the melting and boiling points of substances W to Z. So we have W, X, Y, and Z. And we are given three statements and asked which statements are true. Statement one, X is a volatile liquid. So what exactly is a volatile liquid? So this is a liquid with a low boiling point. In other words, it evaporates very easily at room temperature. Taking a look at the melting point and boiling point of X, we can tell that room temperature, which is roughly 25 degrees Celsius, is between the melting point and the boiling point. So that means that X is still a liquid at room temperature and pressure. But the boiling point here at 42 is quite low. It is so it makes sense that X could evaporate quite easily even at room temperature. So to figure out what is a volatile liquid, it is good to know some examples. For example, right, uh, bromine has a boiling point of 59 and it is considered a volatile liquid. Same with ethanol. Ethanol has a boiling point of 78. It is also considered a volatile liquid. So with a boiling point of 42, it makes sense that X would be considered volatile. Hence, statement one is correct. Now, what about statement two? Particles of Y and Z vibrate and rotate at fixed positions at room temperature. Mm. This seems like the description of the particles of a solid. So let's check. At room temperature, which is around 25 degrees Celsius, Y would be a solid, and Z would also be a solid. Why? Because 25 degrees Celsius is below each of their melting points. Hence, statement two is correct. The particles of Y and Z, they would be rotating, in vibrating in fixed positions at room temperature. Now, what about statement three? Two of the above substances undergo a change in state when heated from room temperature to 80 degrees Celsius. So let's consider this. W, X, Y, and Z. At room temperature, which is around 25 degrees Celsius, W would be a gas because uh, 25 is above its boiling point. X would be a liquid because 25 is between its melting and boiling point. And as we have established in statement two, Y and Z would be not gases, but solids, solid and solid. So what about at 80 degrees Celsius? So at 80 degrees Celsius, W would still be a gas because it's still above the boiling point. X would be a gas as well because 80, is above 42. So X will already have boiled off. As for Y, 80 is between the melting and boiling point. So it will be a liquid at 80 degrees Celsius. Whereas Z, 80 is still below 413. So it is still a solid. So out of the four substances, two of them, X and Y, undergo a change in state. Hence, statement three is also correct. So the correct answer here would be D. All of the above statements are true.